Hey guys, it's me, Harry the Mining Gamer here. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we did the Gerudo Trading Ground. And in this episode, we are going to do the Bigger on Sword side quest. Now, this is probably going to be one of the biggest episodes I've ever done. Um, in fact, no, it won't be because the... Um... Actually, let me just check something. They said school chillers. Okay. Um... Basically, we're going to be starting the Bigger On Sword side quest, and we're going to get the Bigger On Sword in this episode. So, we start off by talking to this lady. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the Pocket Cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Late risers out of bed. Have you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to crow cuckoo especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper however my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now you who look like you're good at handling cuckoos here take this egg after this cuckoo hatches bring it back to me after a while and I'll check out its mood what do you think will you try yeah I'll try you borrowed a pocket egg a pocket cuckoo will hatch from it overnight. Be sure to give it back when you are done with it. Okay, so... As you can see, this... Pocket egg. And it, this will hatch... Um... In... Two day. In a day. So, I'm just going to skip... Skip forward. And... I'll see you back here when it's hatched. Look, a chicken hatched from the egg you are incubating. It's the miracle of life. Yeah, and it's also the miracle of being able to continue with this side quest. I don't want this to be a long episode, so I'm going to try and do this as long as in little time as possible. Um, actually, this was recorded nearly directly after the... Um, the uh, training ground episode healing uh, but he, what we do with this is we talk to Talon here Malon doing alright mm, sorry make you worry okay what we do if we use this cuckoo on him what in tarnation can a person get a little should I around here so sorry if that's your accent did you save Malon Dang, I'm going back to the ranch then. Yeehaw! Okay, so... Is that all you're going to say? Okay. That's all he's going to say. So side step our way out of here. And now we have to go back to see the cuckoo lady. And the thing is, that's actually her name. She doesn't have a name like in Majora's Mask. She's literally the cuckoo lady. Please make my cuckoo happy, okay? Oh, your cuckoo looks pretty happy. You must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo, if you're interested. Its name is Kojiro, and it used to be my brother's cuckoo. Its blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. Since my brother has gone, it's strange, but Kojiro has stopped growing. I mean crowing. Do you want to keep Kojiro? Yeah, I'll keep him. You return the pocket cuckoo and got Kojiro in return. Unlike other cuckoos, Kojiro barely crows. And that's the next step. Now we have to go to the Lost Woods. I read an entire document on how to do this side quest and I'm trying to remember it off by heart. So if I forget something, you'll know. Right, what's this say? The one who is waiting. Oh, right, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that for a while, actually. Navi's just basically talking about um, how Sheik is going to be waking for us at the Temple of Time. But we're not going there yet. I've just realised that when it comes... Why am I going that way? When it comes to doing side quests as a child, 
I'm going to have to do that cutscene. Oh dear. By the way, I actually... When do you get the golden gauntlets? Because we're going to need that eventually. Whoa, Apona. So we're going back to Kokiri Forest. Okay, and uh, the cuckoo lady's brother, who is unimaginatively called Grog, is here. No response, he's sleeping. Well, if we use this on him, Kodro, why, normally only a nice guy like me can tame you, which means you, you must be a nice guy, must be. Must be my please Mr. Nice Guy, please deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay. You've got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko potion shop. Quickly. Now we have three minutes to get that to the Kakariko Village. So I'm just gonna fast forward here. <laughs> smell. You must have something. Oh, yeah, I have to do it. I have to do the thing. Oh, he's got a little cat! That bum. He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Ooh. Makes it look all mysterious. If you see that fool, give this to him. He is, it is the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. You received an odd potion. It may be useful for something. Hurry to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Yeah, it probably is, actually. Actually, isn't there something... Yeah, something here. What's down here? chest oh we've got some rupees that's pretty nice you know what we're not here for the rupees we're here to help somebody is it me or if Nintendo purposely made the entire map smaller when you're an adult great if I line this up just do this it's quite fast actually okay I'm gonna fast forward this bit until I get to the lost woods <laughs> If we 
we'll go this way, we'll find that there is a Kokiri here instead. We speak to him. That guy isn't here anymore. Anyone who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So it's not here anymore. We show this to him. That medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. He went to the odd potion and got the poacher's saw. This young punk guy must have left this behind. Heh <laughs> Are you going to be two? <laughs> Alright, I don't get it, but I'm running. Okay, so now we've got the poacher's saw. Now, what we're supposed to do with this is we're supposed to take it to... Um, what do we have to take here? We have to take it to... The, we need to take it to Muto at the curtains. Stop rustling. You're not a paper cowboy. That's a joke that my science teacher told me last year. What are paper cowboys made for? Made for rustling. Well, that's... We're quite funny, actually. Anyway, now we have to go to Gerudo Desert again. And I'm going to try my best not to make the same joke four times. How dare you suggest a touch of the uh, hello folks and what about the workers? Every now and again. Now and again. <laughs> no? Don't be ashamed of yourself. There's nothing like that being going on between... Well, what are you doing life? here, then? I came to see if the Queen has got everything. And has she? Yes. You've looked? No! <laughs> we go over that? Oh, whoa! That was a bigger jump than it was needed. I've always wanted to ride a horse. I wonder what the horse must be feeling. It's just like, oh god, I've got this guy stuck on my head again. Stuck on his head? It's not on his head. Here we are. We're here at Gerudo Valley. Whoa! Stop, you can go down there. Right. Now, if we head here and talk to this guy, oh, we're funny. Man. Hey, that saw—it's mine. But I thought I left that saw with my old lady. Oh well, my big on tool, my big on tool broke, so I was going to the Goron City to get it repaired. Your coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Good kid. Thanks. Sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyway. And now we've got... You traded the poacher's saw for a big or broken Goron sword. Visit Big Goron to get it repaired. So, and now we have another quest to go to Big Goron. So, I will see you there.
Okay, right. Um, I finally got here, and we've got Gore on here, but he's a bit irritated. Let's speak to him. My brother, open the new store. It's Mega Ready Goron's Blade Store. However, I better make him blades. Alien Carpenters praise my for my skills. I'm not lying. Show this to him. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes were a little tattered. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Yes. You checked in the Gorons. Zora received a prescription. Go see King Zora. Fast forward again. Go. Okay, so finally at Zora's domain. Let's go in by the usual means. Oh my god, look at Link's legs. I know I said this before on the uh, Ice Cabin episode, but his legs seem like scrunched down. Yeah, um, so yeah, we have a prescription. 
and somebody's logged in. Don't know whether you can see that. Oh. And Princess Ruto lied to us. She said that the place would be melted and normal by now, but she lied. Anyway, there's King Zora. We show him this. Oh, this is wow. Hmm. Hmm. Eye drops. We might say we have them. We might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can move the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yeah, we can. Oh, look at it! Oh, you little froggy! You little froggy! Use the prescription I received an Eiffel Frog. We could deliver it while it's cold. Oh, I don't want to turn a frog into eye drops. No. no. I don't want to. I don't remember. Oh, God. Yeah, that, that looked like it was going to cause some serious damage. But yeah, we have to fast forward again. There's a lot of fast forwarding in this. I don't, I don't like it. Don't like it. Ooh, nice and orange. Anyway, we jump down here. I'll see you in a few minutes. God, I just realised how little time we have. Right. Give them the fucking frog. Oh, but he's so cute though. I don't want to give it him. Oh, look at his face. Oh, oh wow. I haven't seen an eyeball frog like seals since Zora's domain froze over. These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. Holy, 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 holy. holy. Such great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Hey, what? It's for making Big Oran's eye drops? Oh, how disappointing. Should have said so in the first place. Yeah, you just scratch the table there. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to the Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. You treated the eyeball frog for the world's finest eye drops. Hurry, right, take them to bigger, bigger up before they go bad. Oh God, we'd wasted one second walking to the door. This is not going well. Again, fast forward. Okay, baby. Okay, fast forward. Go. <laughs> these really you brought the eye drops I'm so relieved I'm going to use them right now I love them because they echo whoa 
This is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very really consistent, so I'll give this to you so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait, just wait patiently. The bigger on the sword. You got a claim check for it. Can't wait for the sword to be completed. And now we have to wait a few days, so... Yeah, I'm just going to uh, cut the footage and come back when the sword's finished. A few moments later. Okay, after a while, he's finally finished. That's that sword is my finest work. You handed in the claim check and got the bigger on the sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break. So now, this is the bigger on the sword. This is an incredible sword. Now, spoiler alert, this is going to be so useful during the Ganon fight later. But yeah, I think next episode, we'll do the mask side quest. So, yeah guys, if you enjoyed that episode, please like a favourite. Please like a favourite. This took a lot of work. Alright, go away. Uh, what do you want, Navi? I know. We're going to have to do that cutscene next time, guys. So, if you enjoyed this episode, please like a favourite. This took a lot of work. And now I like a favourite helps me, but subscribe, it definitely helps me. And uh, yeah, I guess in the next episode, we are going to do the mask side quest. So yeah guys, please like, favourite, subscribe, and peace.